The bald eagles were found on this farm in Federalsburg. State officials have a working theory that the eagles may have been poisoned, but the person who owns this property says there is no reason for poison to be there. Bob Edgel and Glenn Breeder, within a few hours of each other on Saturday, found four dead bald eagles in this farm field. This is a picture of one of them, taken by Breeder, who says he went looking for antlers when he came across what he thought to be a dead turkey. I was amazed at what I was looking at. I never seen one up that close, you know, dead or alive. Both men called Maryland Natural Resources Police, who ended up finding nine more dead bald eagles, three of them mature, meaning they had the distinctive white feathered head as seen in this picture taken by a natural resources officer. Officials say the eagles had no signs of external trauma. One theory is a mass poisoning. It happens occasionally where uh, someone will put out poison to get rid of rodents, either a homeowner or a farmer. And, you know, eagles are attracted by dead animals. Uh, a bunch of dead rodents might attract a whole bunch of eagles, but we don't know. Bob Edgel owns the farm where they found the eagles. No need to have anything like that, and certainly no DDT, which has been banned for years. About the only people that could go up here that we know of is Mr. Edgel or myself, his son. You know, we hunt over here. There's People don't wander around up there. Maryland took bald eagles off of its endangered species list in 2010, but they're still protected under federal law. So killing, harming, or disturbing bald eagles means a fine of at least $100,000 and or a year in jail. State and federal wildlife groups are offering a $10,000 reward for information. Foul play or not, one of Maryland's bald eagle experts says 13 dead eagles in one spot is historic for Maryland. It's the largest number of dead birds found at one location on a single day that I know of. The eagles, meanwhile, are being taken to a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service lab in Oregon to find out what killed the birds. In Caroline County, George Lattice, WBAL, TV 11 News.